Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss some more problems related to averages. Let's see the first question in this session. The average of 25 observations is 13. The average of 25 observations is 13. It was found later that an observation 73 was wrongly entered as 48. Then find the new average. Then find the new average. Here, according to the sentence, uh, average of 25 observations is given as 13. So, the sum of 25 observations, 25 into 13, 25 into 13. Now, don't multiply this number. Why? Because uh, there is a small change. Uh, here, it was found that, it was found that later, an observation 73 was wrongly entered as 48. Here, this is the correct value. The correct value is 73, but it was wrongly entered as 48. This is the wrong value which they are entering and 73 is the correct value which we need to enter. So, the correct value. For correct value, we need to use positive sign. For wrong value, we need to use negative sign. Why? Because we need to remove this 48 wrong value and we need to add uh, that correct value so that you will get the exact sum. Therefore, the new average is equal to new average is equal to sum, new sum. New sum is nothing but uh, initial sum 25 into 13 plus 73 minus 48. That will give you the new sum divided by number of observations. There is no change in number of observations. Why? Because uh, initially 25 observations, after that we are removing one value and we are adding one value, right? There is no change in number of observations. Now I will write this value as like this. 25 into 13 divided by 25 plus 73 minus 48 divided by 25. Here this 25, 25 gets cancelled. Now you can take this value as 13 plus here it is 73 minus 48 which is equal to 25, right? 25 divided by 25. This value will be cancelled. Here it is uh, 13 plus 1, 14. 14 is the correct average which is nothing but new average. New average is equal to 14. That is the required answer for this question. Let's move on to the next question. See here. A cricketer has a certain average of runs for his 8 innings. Here we don't know what is the average up to 8 innings. So let us consider that up to 8 innings the average is x. Up to 8 innings the average is x. Up to this is uh, average up to 8 innings. Up to 8 innings, let us consider average is x runs. And uh, in the ninth innings, he scored uh, 100 runs. In the ninth inning, he scores uh, 100 runs, thereby increases his average by 9 runs. It means uh, after scoring 100 runs in the ninth inning, his average is increased by 9 runs. So, average after, this is uh, before, average before ninth inning, before ninth inning and uh, average after ninth inning, average after ninth inning, which is nothing but x plus 9. Why? Because uh, before ninth inning, that is up to eight innings, the average is x runs. Uh, after ninth inning, after scoring 100 runs in 9th inning, his average is increased by 9 runs, which is nothing but uh, x plus 9. So, here the sum of 8 innings. As we know that average of uh, 8 innings is x runs, then sum of 8 innings is equal to average into number of innings, that is 8, 8x. Now, after 9th inning, average is x plus 9. You can substitute that value. Here, x plus 9 is equal to, after 9th inning, average is equal to 
sum of 9 innings. As we know that sum of 8 innings is 8x plus in the 9th inning he scored 100 runs divided by number of innings 9. Now you can do the cross multiplication you will get the value of x. Here it is 9x plus 81 which is equal to 8x plus 100. Now from this, this 8x comes to left side and 81 goes to right side. 9x minus 8x that is equal to x. 100 minus 81 which is equal to 19. We got x is equal to 19. 19 is the average before 9th inning. Why? Because x is the average before 9th inning. Right? Now the question what he is asking. Find his new average. New average is nothing but uh, average after 9th inning. Average after 9th inning. Average after 9th inning. Which is equal to x plus 9. That is equal to the value of x is 19. 19 plus 9 that is equal to 28 runs. 28 runs. This is the required average after 9, 19, uh, 9th inning, right? 28 is the right answer. Let's move on to the next question. See here, the average of 8 men is increased by 2 years. The average of 8 men is increased by 2 years when 2 of them whose ages are 21 and 23 are replaced by 2 new men. Find the average age of uh, 2 new men. That is the question he is asking. Uh, here, average of 8 men is increased by 2 years when 2 of them ages 21 and 23 are replaced by 2 new men. See, let us suppose that initially, before any changes, uh, the average of 8 men is uh, x years. Average of 8 men, x years. Uh, therefore, sum of 8 members, sum of 8 men is equal to 8x. Why? Because average into number of persons. 8 into x, 8x. Now, according to the question, average is increased by 2 years. When the average is increased by 2 years, when 2 of them ages 21 and 23 are replaced by 2 new men. It means new average is equal to, I will write like this, new average is equal to new sum divided by number of persons divided by number of uh, persons here new average initial average is x initial average is x after add uh, uh, after replacing these two members with two new men average is increased by two years therefore new average is equal to x plus 2 which is equal to new sum Initial sum is 8x. Now, from this 8x, two members went off. Those who are replaced, you need to subtract those values. And those who are added, you need to add those values. I don't know what is the age of two new men. So, that is the reason why I am taking the age of two new men are A and B respectively divided by number of men. There is no change in number of men, 8 only. Why? Because uh, here we are replacing two members with two new men. We are replacing the members. We are not adding additionally. So, there is no change in number of uh, persons. Now, you can do the cross multiplication. You will get the value of uh, A plus B. Here it is uh, 8x plus 16 is equal to 8x minus 21 minus 23 which is equal to minus 44 plus a plus b. Here if you observe carefully 8x 8x gets cancelled. Now from this you can write it as a plus b is equal to a plus b is equal to minus 44 comes to left side which will become 16 plus 44 that is equal to 16. 16 plus 44 which is equal to 60. Here it is not the question about sum of two new men. It is the question about uh, find the average age of two new men. Average of 
average of two new men is equal to average means what sum of two new men sum of two new men which is equal to 60 divided by number of persons two that is equal to 30 years 30 years is the required average age of uh, two new men that's the answer for this question guys i hope you enjoyed the session thank you thank you very much for watching